Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. And today I wanted to share an accumulated Troll Beads haul with you of some purchases that I've made in the last couple of months and also some bracelet designs as well. So we'll start with Diamonds Forever based in Denmark. And Diamonds Forever has a wonderful online store, but the best part is, is that Yanni is fantastic with her customer service and she sends wonderful videos indoors and outdoors of different beads that you're interested in. So when I was seeking out my very first Labradite gemstone, of course I went to her and she gave me about eight or nine to choose from. And the first Labradite that I chose is this one here because it just had the most beautiful deep blue flash on one side. But then as I spin the bead around, you can see it has a secondary one at the back. So I thought no matter which way this bead kind of went on the bracelet, I've got some beautiful flash on both sides. So this one was my very first choice, but I had such a hard time making up my mind between two Labradites. And then eventually my husband told me, just get them both, honey. <laughs> so that's what I did. Let me share with you the other one. So this second Labradite has a little bit more veining into it, as you can see, and it's a little bit more green, whereas this one is blue. So I've got green on this side, and then on the opposite side, it has a little flash of like a golden amber color. Labradite is such a beautiful gemstone. So when I was placing my order, because I already had free shipping, I decided to purchase some retired silver beads. And this one is called Snails in Love. And this was totally influenced because I saw this bead in one of Linda with LSN2's videos. And I just thought it was so interesting. Um, you've got the snail detail and you can see how one side has one snail, kind of like the shell curled towards, and the other side has the other. And I also really liked how this bead just hangs on a bracelet properly like that. It's just super intriguing to me. So I do like the critters, I'm not going to lie. So anytime there's a bead that's involving critters, I'm instantly attracted to it. And then this cute little bead with the little face among the mushrooms and the leaf there is called Forest Treasures. So you've got a little face kind of peeking out in between the mushrooms. You've got a nice leaf design there. And then on the other side of this bead, I don't know, is that supposed to be mushrooms as well? I haven't made up my mind yet what that texture is. Like it definitely has the forest theme to it. And it has the texture of underneath a mushroom. So I think it kind of just depends which way the bead spins is what your view is. And then I'm not sure what's underneath the face there. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, just that little bit of texture as well. But this one is retired and it's called Forest Treasures. And this last silver bead I saw on Brooklyn 08's channel. And it the way it just kind of cups together like two other beads and it looks like a squished silver. It looks like somebody just had a silver bead and squished it. It's called Transformation, and it just, I don't know, this one just intrigued me as well. It's kind of a hefty silver bead, as you can see, compared to this um, black armadillo, and this one here is a red tiger's eye. It's about the same size, but it just has a really neat look to it. So when I saw this bead in the retired section of Diamonds Forever, I knew I had to pick it up. I just think it is so cool looking. It's a little bit abstract. I've got it combined with this bracelet design here with a lot of different fall colors to it. It just combines some browns and some blacks. And here is my tiger eye right over here. And this is a bracelet design I created for this autumn season. The next big purchase I made was through Troll Beads Canada and Klaus had a 50% off summer sale. And then he had a flash sale of an additional 27% off so I chose a kit, and this is the Creator's Kit. It's part of the Nature's Power Collection. This bead here is called Still Life, and it just has the green flowers on a really pretty background. It's blue and white. And then the flowers are outlined in brown. It's so gorgeous, I love this one. This one here is called Painter's Palette. 
and it's a little bit dotty and you've got some different tones in here. It's kind of like a blush pink with some brown in the center and the brown has little bits of glitter on a cream background and that shade of green is perfect and it matches this really well. This one here, I think a lot of you have seen, it's called Brushes of Shimmer. And in combined with that brown, you've also got some burgundy tone and it's also on a creamy background. This one is gorgeous and there's a little bit of variation, but they're all so beautiful. This one here is called Hues of Heather and it's kind of like a solid purple, but it's got some translucence to it. And then if you can see, there's like little ribbons of a lighter purple running through it among the bubbles in the design. In the same look is Hues of Balance, and this one is a brighter green. So it looks like it's green glass with ribbons of like a light green and a little bit of dark green going around the bubbles. And then this one here is also a surprise favorite of mine. I don't tend to gravitate to pink and purple. Um, sometimes I do, <laughs> so, but it's not usually my first choice. And this one is called Flower Art. And so it's kind of like a, like a blushy, pinky purple lilac background. You also have some green leaves thrown in among the purple flowers and the flowers just have a little bubble in the center. And this whole kit ties together so well, it just works, right? And it's very consistent in size too. So right away when I saw this one here, I knew I had to put it on my purple bracelet. So let me add it and I'll share that design with you. So this is where the bead stringer really comes in handy because when you wanna take a bracelet apart or just change one bead in the middle of a design, all you do is you hook the bead stringer at the end of your foxtail and then you just kind of tip and slide and there you go. Like how fast is that compared to taking off beads one at a time? And then you add your toll beads lock. This is the Hues of Wonder lock. And here is my purple bracelet design. So I find this design absolutely stunning with the different Aurora beads that Troll Beads has. And then I do have some Pandora charms on here. So there's the blue topaz flower right here. And I think it combines perfect. And then in the center of this bracelet, I have the most beautiful amethyst gemstone. It's so dark and it's just it just shines, it's stunning. And then of course, here is my new bead, the flower art, and it combines really well. And at the bottom of this bracelet, I already did have the hues of Heather. I had this one pre-loved, I found locally. So now I have two of them. So I'm not sure if I need to, but it came with the kit, but I'm sure I'll find other designs to add it to. Next, I want to share a purchase I made with Troll Beads Texas, and they had one gemstone on for 50% off and one for 60% off. And this amethyst was 50% off, and I jumped at the chance to have a second one of these in my collection. The first one that I showed earlier is quite a bit darker than this one. This one is a little bit more of a lighter purple. It's kind of almost got, I don't know, like a pastel shade to it, I guess. There is an inclusion that kind of runs through it. So Anna with Troll Beads Texas also showed me a video on Instagram and let me choose this one. I chose the darker of what she had remaining in stock, but still it is quite a bit lighter than my first amethyst. And here they are side by side, so you can see that I have a nice variety now. And next is Serpentine, and this one here was 60% off. Like, isn't that amazing? Look how beautiful it is. I really like the shade of this green, and it goes with so many other beads in my collection. This one I also got to choose from a video that Anna provided on Instagram and it's a little bit more solid. So this is also the second one that I have, and the first one is a little bit darker, as you can tell, but they're really close. But this one, uh, the first one came from Troll Beads Canada, and I didn't have a lot of choice because Close uh, had a limited stock, 
but I still did get a beautiful one. And now I have a second that's just a little bit lighter. And the Serpentine Bee combines really well with the Love Song Kit. And this bracelet design is an absolute favorite of mine. I purchased this kit as part of Trollbees Canada Summer Sale and I shared it in a previous video. I still have this bracelet design together because I just love the colors in it, the pastel shades. It just really makes me happy when I wear this bracelet. Now I'm really jumping around, but I'm going to go back to Diamonds Forever. And every time that they get in troll agates, they always post an actual picture of the bead that you're going to receive. And there is a few that I just could not resist. So this is my troll agate bracelet. I have discovered that right now I'd like to wear my troll agate bracelet only with troll agates on here. I don't combine it with other glass or gemstones, but I probably will in the future. But I really like just kind of keeping them all together with a few silver beads combined with them. So this first set of three here I previously shared and this one here was from Diamonds Forever. It's a beautiful blue. These two here came from Troll Beads Canada. And then right in the center of the bracelet I've got another deeper blue from Diamonds Forever. I do find I have good luck finding blue ones with them. This one here came from Trollbees Canada and it's actually one of my favorites. I know it's like really light and pastel and people love the blues and the greens especially, but I really like this one. I just, I don't know. I'm just, my eye is drawn to this one first. And then in the center of the bracelet, this beautiful one came from Trollbees Canada. And now we're going to come to the ones that I recently purchased from Diamonds Forever. And this first one is this beautiful bright green. It's kind of like a sea foam green and it's got the glitter on top. This one here is a really bright blue. It's my brightest blue one. Not as much glitter on it as you can see. And then you can see the difference of it with the other blues. So it's quite a bit brighter than this one and this one. And then these two here are also my recent purchases from Diamonds Forever. Look at the color of this one. Isn't it beautiful? And then this one here, I was really intrigued by the pastel shades in it. It has that lighter color that I really like in the other agate, and then it combines it with like a really pastel blue. I kind of like the two-tone effect of this one in the photos. This one here is also another one of my favorites. It's a lighter brown with a little bit of pink, but not a lot. And then I do have one pink agate right over here. It's a little bit blue in there as well. But I absolutely fell hard for the troll agates, like a lot of people did. And this is what I have so far on my bracelet. I found when I was wearing this bracelet, I was just thinking it would be a little bit more comfortable with one more troll agate. So Diamonds Forever recently added a few more photos and I chose another one. I tried to get a little bit of variety, so I chose one that's kind of like a rainbow effect to it. So tempted by some of the darker ones, but I don't know. I really love this bracelet. Like I think it's going to be a permanent design, always having troll agates because it just matches everything. And then when you're outside, when the sun catches the glitter and the facets, it's just absolutely amazing. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and seeing a few more of my recent Troll Beads purchases and some bracelet designs. I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.